Alright, so what I'll be doing is um, going through the Smarty template engine. Alright, there are many, many um, template engines available, but um, I picked this. Um, not really sure why I did, but I, I've gone through the features. I think it's a nice one. If you go to Wikipedia and take a look, um, Smarty history is listed. I encourage you to read the history, and there's a small example there. But for this tutorial, I'll, I'll do a very small example so people can understand um, how to quickly put together um, a template. So you can take a look at the Smarty um, wiki page. But for those who are wondering, is Smarty good enough? Am I learning something I will reuse and use over and over again? I would say most of the template engines currently have a very similar uh, features and behavior. So on Wikipedia, there is a comparison of some of the web templates. And the features they are comparing include variables, functions, includes, conditional system, looping, evaluation, well, assignment, errors and exceptions, support for languages, natural templates, and inheritance. And if you go through this list, so let's find Smarty um, here. So I'm jumping about a bit, but almost there. Smarty actually does have all the features. The only thing it doesn't have, which is this um, last but one missing, is natural templates. So most of uh, the engines don't have natural templates. And if you go through only a few of them, like Cool Fusion Proprietary has everything. Um, let's see if there's another engine that has everything. Razor and Rhythm, um, of course that's in Java. It's Rhythm, so is there any other person that has everything? Last one is Planner FW, right? So some people... Um, I think would, would say that this shows Smarty does have almost everything you'd need. So let's go through the example. First, you have to download Smarty. And you can find that good smarty.net download. You can download immediately from, usually I pick version 3. But if you click it, of course, it's going to send you to the uh, um, GitHub page. And there's documentation as well. Again, smarty.net forward slash documentation. And what I'll be using is uh, the crash course. Right. Now, I'm going through with you so that you understand how Smarty is organized. Now, when you first download Smarty, right, you can unzip and get all these folders. Of course, you wouldn't have a, temp a folder called this, but you will have a folder called um, Smarty when you unzip and in that folder you'd find your libs and a demo. The demo contains an example of um, Smarty that um, the people who created the template have put together. So I can go to um, the demo. So let me just open the demo folder. I just copy this and put it into ZAMP. Right. So those who are wondering, yes, my ZAMP is running. This is just normal ZAMP. Um, and so if I open the demo, right, so it says, welcome to Smarty, and a whole bunch of stuff. Right. So let's see, how is a Smarty um, project put together, or a project that uses Smarty put together? So I'm going to do one from scratch, so um, you maybe understand how to do it on your own. So I'll make a folder called my demo. So there's a new folder, nothing in there. I'm going to make a, a PHP file. So my PHP. Now, when you are using Smarty, all of your templates, like your designs, almost like your styles, go into a folder called templates. So you can make that one. And then I'm going to make another file called template.tpl Now the extension for the templates in the template folder don't really matter um, but a Smarty usually uses .tpl um, for their templates. 
Now, what's going to happen is you're going to put your code in the PHP file. Right. So your code is going to go into the PHP file. So, for example, this is PHP. Just doing this to show you that at least this is normal PHP. If you've been using PHP, there's nothing to be afraid of. Right. And so what I'll do is I'm going to reload the page and go into that's my demo. Right. There's my file. This is PHP, so it's normal PHP. Right. So what you'll be doing is go to the crash course well the crash course page and you have your examples now all the examples will have a PHP file so what you do is you see something that says oh this is an index of PHP or some PHP file so you can take um, whatever is in there and put it in your PHP so now I know that works I'm going to put it in my PHP now I'm going to warn you about the class path so we'll adjust that and um, the next thing we'll do is it says Usually, a PHP file would include a template. So, if you look at the code carefully, it says include Smarty class. So, you always have to include a Smarty class. Include an object, right? So, that would make or well, create an object. You create some variables and then you call the template um, engine to use one of the templates. In this case, index.dpl. And that means that um, this is what my template will look like. So, you can see .tpl. So this is my file. So include create the object assign variables display. Very organized. Okay, so let me go to my template. So if you look at the template structure, variables are it's almost like PHP, except that you don't have to keep using um, which is why doing this can be fun. You don't have to keep doing this and print. It, it gets kind of tiring. Um, but if you're using a template, you just um, do your HTML design and you just put in the various variables. So anytime you have a variable, it's just curly brackets and variable name. Variable name looks a lot like what you have for PHP. So this is an example of one. Now my template here is called my template.tpl. So that means that when I'm including, I have to include my template dot tpl this means you can have many 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 templates right, so usually what i do is when i'm doing a project for every view i will have a template corresponding so that um, at the beginning i could even be pulling the variables but i would be calling different templates so you can even have the same code i mean that's the the beauty of this so I'll, I'll show you one very quickly so here's one where i say um my template dot tpl now if i try and run this um, the main problem is I know there's a problem well yes there is a problem with the include path so if you include it says oh couldn't find it so where is that file that file is currently in um, smarty libs and here it is smarty class now what some people will do um, for their projects is to Fine to okay, so according to the path, it's going to be um, go up one step libs and smarty class. So let me make sure I got that right. So from my folder, my folder is my demo dot dot means go up one step. So I go up one step, go into libs, which is this one and include smarty class and that's what I have right, so now I've done this I believe it should work so there you go now let me show you why I say um, it's easy to do development when you're using smarty so back to the demo let me go to the templates and pick okay, I'm going to make a copy of this template and call it maybe my Templates. Okay, two. Okay, so I just add two to the end. And what I will do is for the second one, mm, I 
think of a good okay i'll just keep i was going to move to xml but maybe i shouldn't do that i'll just keep it simple i'll just put this in the table just just for fun just to show you uh, these two different views So now I have two templates. So in this file, I'm going to do something simple. I'd say if um, there is um, a get variable called um, new, So that means I am now choosing when to pull different templates. So this is the regular one, and if I have right. So I'm just showing you um, some of the things you can do. Ideas. I'm hoping these are giving you ideas as to how templates can make your work easier. So if I were doing a project, it's possible then to have a project where I have almost like a controller who just uh, pulls in all my data or a file that pulls in the necessary data and then depending on what I want to do with it I can call my template to display now the second example um, and this is required you have to show um, to get credit is using arrays now the reason why I ask you to learn how to use arrays, I'm going to scroll down, you can read through, take your time. Um, there are some cool features such as you can capitalize, like if a variable needs to be capitalized, you don't need to do this in PHP yourself. So in this example, the name variable can be told, capitalize it, and it will organize it. You can say escape. Um, you don't have to keep typing things like um, HTML. I think PHP has functions that would change and put in the ampersand and so on, so it displays properly. Um, you can do date formatting very easily if there's a PHP object that has a date type. You don't have to do that all in PHP. So there are a lot of interesting features. But I'm going to scroll down to the looping part. Now, the loop actually requires the use of some type of array. So this is an example of an array that contains a list of names. So it says, assign a variable names and put in an array with Bob, Jimmy, Joe and so on. So I'm going to copy just this part. I just want to demonstrate how the loop works. Right. So in my second one, I'm going to, sorry, I need to put, so remember your definition for your data goes here. So I have a, a loop with names. Right. So the names has Bob, Joe, Jim, Fred and so on. Right. So that's that part. And then Here is a simple, and this is much simpler than the example that they have in the, um, you can use section for this as well, but I think this is, is much cleaner. So you have a loop here. I'll show you another example of a loop, but um, this is as good a loop as any. Right, so for names as, so you see it looks like PHP. Except please pay attention to the curly brackets. So I'm not going to be doing any um, anything. Well, okay, so if you have a loop, right, sometimes, so I'll, I'll do this with the strip and without the strip, so you can, you can see what the strip does. Right. So I just want to do a loop that has um, and an ordered list. An ordered list is UL, so you must know your um, HTML. And then list items, so I'm gonna keep this simple. 
So this is looping through a bunch of names. That's this, this is my so. So there you go. So it can loop through and print the name. Right now, why do they use strip? So let's go to the strip part. If you're doing the normal for each loop and you're not using the strip, right? Let's view page source. Okay, so let me do the view page source again. So this is if I'm not using strip and let me do one. Here's one with strip. So same code, just reload. So you can see with strip, it's, it removes the extra spaces at the end. So it's kind of um, nice to be able to do this without having to um, go through your PHP trying to optimize. So that means if you have a template engine, you can do a lot of the optimizations. The reason why we will sometimes use strip is if there are extra spaces, the, the web page that's being sent to the user will be just a little bit bigger. And if you use some of these features, you can make it a bit more compact. Um, there are many ways to do this, um, but at least the template engine has it. Now there's another way to do a loop, and that one requires, and so I'll show you that example as well. Right. So inside your demo file, so I'm going to pick one of the files from there. In your demo file, within the templates, so for those who are going through this, um, you can take a look at that demo file as well. There is a template and it uses sections. So what you can do is you can use a section to also accomplish the same task of looping. So this is for each type of loop. This is a section type of loop. Right. Just cleaning it up so it's the most compact version. Okay. So it says um, loop through um, the name of like the the index that's used to go into the variable and I want to loop through names so that's the name of my array names and so this is like the index so you can call it maybe loop index you can I'm sure this will be fine so this is section so it is basically saying for every section of this so like names is like a long list of things. So for every section of name, and the section name is like this one. And so it says for that array in that section, and um, I'm going to do similar for the li. So at this time I'll do style, um, background, um, green. I know it's gonna be strange. Again, if I go in there and so you can see there are many ways to do the same thing now um, I'm going to it's almost 20 minutes so I'm going to cut it short so at least you know how to demonstrate that your loop is working now the last example I'll do for a loop and that is the same thing so this is an array that has um, numeric indexes that is if you're looking to be 0 1 2 3 4 now other times in PHP and if you um, maybe if you had um, how do I put it if you if you got data from a database right if you got data from a database you'd have something like DB row so usually for a database row you'd have your columns maybe first name is Bob last name
so if you have an array of arrays so, so this is like an array containing an array of something so the first name last name so this is similar to if you got information from a database right? and the next one is Let me just reload it in here, make sure it's okay. I left something out. Line number 19. Okay. Yeah, I should have ended there. There, okay. So back to why do I keep messing? Okay, just have to take my time. Pay attention to this. This array ends, and that array ends here, and so okay. So an array of arrays. So an array of DB rows, and this is the first entry. That's the second entry. So let's do it. Wow, three times in a row. <laughs> I left one out. Okay, so at least I make sure my array has been defined properly. And I want to do a loop through this. So I could decide to use one of these. It was called D Bureau. Usually plural if it's a list of things. Um. Right, so what you can see it's trying to put an array right from the thing into the template and that's not working. So what you have to do when you're dealing with um, arrays is square bracket, I had first name, so remember that was one of the fields and last name. So let's reload this. So there you go, Bob Thomas Amache. So um, I believe you should, let me do another one different types of arrays smarty assign okay I'll, I'll stop here because I don't want it to be too long but at least now you have an idea of different ways that you can define variables and also um, use templates to get the information